And welcome to the final episode of the Break a Sweat series. I'm your host, Jason Yap, and you've been watching the daily update of the Sweat Hong Kong International Dance Festival. Today, we'll be looking at the paper presentations, most notably session number 10, and how to imagine a more long-term growth model for dance and the performing arts. While the previous episode discussed the future of energy through dance technology, we'll be taking a time machine today back to the past. How do traditional dance styles inform the future? How do social cultural gestures develop choreography? Is dance really for everyone? Ready? Let's go! Among the host of ideas brought up by the ASK Dance Company, Joseph and Imran stressed the importance of nurturing a sense of national identity through dance training. Who knew one could be so inspired by folklore and mythical legends? As well documented, learning about our rich histories provides a stronger foundation for the critical decisions of our futures. After returning from her studies in Canada, local artist Iris Lau turned to gestures and body language in building her communal practice. I've personally argued on many occasions that dance is and will always be a universal language through the essence of movement, just like how maths does with numbers. So who knows what one can achieve when those same simplistic, meaningless gesticulations as a child are hence interpreted choreographically. Last but not least, Juliet O'Brien champions a world of dance for literally anyone and everyone through the use of the internet and an exciting post-pandemic digital dance landscape. She encouraged potential newcomers in dance to utilize the benefits of cheap online classes, curated courses, high quality recordings, and most surprisingly, but pleasantly, the mystique of your own camera. Yes, now you don't have any more excuses to be shy when you can hide behind that dark, faceless screen. As always, if you've missed the previous day's events, be sure to access the new section of your sweat dashboard for more videos like this. And since this is my last episode here on the Breaker Sweat series, I'd like to remind you to check out the Background Dancer podcast on all your favorite podcast directories, where we talk about all things offstage and post-performance career for dancers just like you and me. For the very last time, my name is Jason Yap. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.